Oh my gosh, did you hear the latest news about this big thing that's just happening? You better watch right now. You better watch, 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 watch. For those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks, and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200, and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. I figured I'd just start off with a little example of kind of what the titles and the thumbnails and everything on YouTube have been like lately. And it's definitely a problem that's getting worse. And I have to say that lately I may have been contributing to it as part of an experiment to take a look at things and sort of examine stuff. So I wanted to talk about this today a little bit. I'm gonna start with the old journalism adage, if it bleeds, it leads. Basically what that means is if you can engage with emotion with your audience, especially through a title or some quick little blurb, you know, the kind of thing on the, on the evening news, gosh, when people used to watch the news, but that thing where they say something like, these three tips could save your life, news at 11, right? So it makes you want to go watch that news thing. It's the same deal on YouTube right now, the big giant like all caps headlines, the crazy thumbnails with like fire and explosions and all of that kind of stuff. It's the sort of situation where there's like an escalating battle in terms of the, what I'm calling it hysterical titles, the like hysteria, the, the emotion that's being involved in these titles. Essentially, this is all old, old stuff, right? The all caps titles and everything, people think about the internet and, and people like, <laughs> I don't know, there's the old man thing where people are like, oh gosh, that old grumpy old man is yelling by typing all caps tweets or something along those lines. But this stuff has existed for decades, if not centuries. You can look back at old newspapers where they have all, all caps headlines. And so you can see exactly what I'm talking about with that. And as many of you may know, especially my Patreon patrons that I talk to about this, I've been sort of experimenting with all of this kind of stuff lately and getting a little bit more hysterical headlines. I want to make a very important point first, though, that what I have not done, I've steered very, very clear of clickbait. Clickbait is a bait and switch kind of thing. So that would be like a title that said something like, these three secrets will let you earn free Bitcoin or something. And then I talked about the topic that I'm talking about today. That's a bait and switch. That's a clickbait kind of thing. So you're doing something where you're engaging somebody's emotions and you're going like, oh my gosh, what is that? I better find out what it is. And then talking about something completely different. You can see this very often I almost fall victim to it all the time. There's things where people will put out like, these photographs reveal the most important things about celebrities that you never knew, and you're like, oh gosh, what is that, right? And so you click on that link, and then it just turns out to be some slideshow of a bunch of pictures of celebrities with advertisements all over the place. So you've clicked on it, and you then fall victim to the fact that you're just basically paying a bunch of advertisers for your eyeballs to watch a bunch of pictures that are pretty much innocuous. So that's the kind of thing that's more clickbaity. It happens on YouTube as well. What I'm talking about instead is kind of over the top titles and over the top thumbnails instead. So it is talking about the topic at hand, but it's putting it in the most heightened fashion possible. And as many people noticed, and I really got a lot of negative comments about this, my last video, which you can watch if you haven't watched it yet, was that kind of experiment. And I've actually changed the title several times and I've looked at how the viewership worked with that because like I said, I've been doing sort of meta experiments here, looking at how titles and thumbnails, particularly titles, because thumbnails take a lot more time to redo, but particularly titles and changing just a few words on the titles changes the viewership. So first of all, let's just take a moment to talk about why this probably happens. And it really comes down to psychology. There's a couple of things you wanna do. Like I said, you want to engage emotions and especially you want to engage negative emotions, which is why the, the line that old adage in journalism is, if it bleeds, it leads, right? So you don't just want like, Positive things are great. It'd be like Tesla is going to the moon, their stock price is gonna go to an amazing height or something, right? You can do a title like that and you'll get some views. But what you're gonna get more views at is if you do a title like Tesla stock price about to collapse, market is going for an all time collapse, back to the Great Depression, things like that. If you have titles like that in your 
under your thumbnail and then you have a picture of like a stock price that's dropping off a cliff or people falling into an abyss or you know fire or explosions or any of that kind of thing i'm sure you have seen these kinds of thumbnails out there that is going to drive the most possible viewership so you can definitely talk about that and you can say such and such analyst says this is the case but the consensus on wall street is that the collapse is not going to happen we're going to get a correction by the way if you haven't noticed tesla has had a correction in the last few days i've taken the opportunity to purchase a bunch more shares of tesla so thank you guys for you know putting it on sale effectively I, again i'm holding for like five to ten years easily so i don't really care what the price is right now but it's nice to get more shares for the same amount of price anyway that aside, you can see that there's been a bunch of headlines recently about the stock price collapse in Tesla, and there's been a lot of viewership in that area. So that's the kind of thing that drives a particularly large amount of viewership. So again, we've got engaging emotions and especially engaging negative emotions. And then there's a third point, and this was really brought home to me by an excellent video that Derek did on Veritasium. And if you, have, if you don't follow Veritasium, you really should. I'll put a link to this video in the description. You should go subscribe. He's already got millions of subscribers, so he doesn't need you. <laughs> but I think he's a fantastic resource. But he did a whole video about thumbnails and titles. And I, it was after that that I really started thinking about this seriously because he talked about a particular video that was doing kind of average. And then he changed the, 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 the thumbnail for the video and he changed the title and he kept tweaking it around. And then all of a sudden he hit the right thing and it went pew and it took off again. If you don't know, the basic trajectory of pretty much all YouTube videos is like this. It goes up for a while and then it tips over and it really flattens out. And that's what my video from yesterday has done thus far. It's done the same as everything else. But every once in a while you get these lovely things that go up like this and then they actually start going back up again that way instead of flattening out. So those, those are the more evergreen type videos and those are the ones all of us really really want to have but anyway you know he he actually worked on this particular video and it was starting to do that flatten out thing and then he found like the right the magic title and it went back up again so after that i really started to think about that that was probably two months ago when i watched this video i'll have to go back and look at when he released it anyway but but after that i started to really think about how i could do the title but the, the piece of information that he added to what i already knew is what he's calling the information gap aspect and that is that what you want to do is in the title say if you watch this i will reveal this secret or what is the secret to blah 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 or something along those lines what you're trying to do is say if you click this link i will give you information so it's a gap you're in the title you're saying like what the thing is that you might find out information about and you click the link and you'll find out the information about it. Now, if that's clickbait, then you won't find out what the answer is. If it's not clickbait, if it's an honest title, you will actually find out what the answer is. But then the question becomes, how hysterical do you make the title? And that's where things get really interesting. If you don't know Derek's channel, he talks about science and math and things like that. Really you know, not terribly emotional topics in general, but he manages it in a really, really good way. And, you know, he's got one recently that I think it was something like the, the equation that broke math or, or something along those lines, right? And that sounds really interesting. And you're like, wow, I better find out what the hell that equation was that broke math. But he also could have titled it something like how imaginary numbers helped us to solve the cubic equation and are really important to modern mathematics, right? That's the same basic thing. The content would be exactly the same, but his, his viewership would be way, way down with that title. So, you know, something along the lines of the equation that broke math is much more exciting. <laughs> it's the thing that it also has a negative connotation, right? Broke, it has a negative connotation. It probably, if you put it in all caps, right? So the equation that broke, B-R-O-K-E, math in all caps, that is going to get a lot more viewership than a kind of more honest or at least more reasoned type of title does. So that's the sort of unfortunate reality of all of this. And the problem is that it's a game for eyeballs. If you don't play the game, you don't get as many eyeballs. So it was really interesting. I, I titled my video yesterday, you know, Giga Berlin shut down all caps, question marks, things like that. It's an honest title because that's the topic that I was talking about. But, you know, to be more honest, it should have been something along the, along the lines of when corporations that want to act quickly encounter bureaucracies that want to act slowly, what are the consequences of that? 
How many people would have watched it? I guarantee you it would have been a tiny fraction of the number of people who watched it yesterday instead. Now, would I have gotten goodwill out of a lot of those people? Yes, I would have gotten goodwill out of those people. And the negative of all of this is that you get bad will out of a lot of people who do not like these hysterical titles. But at the same time, not only did I get more viewers yesterday, I did get some positive subscribers on it, which is interesting because I know some people left in anger about that. And I, I do apologize about that. I feel bad about that. And again, part of this is the fact that I'm experimenting and messing around with it. But then the other part is that the person who runs my merch store was like, holy crap, what happened yesterday? I had all of these orders all of a sudden. So clearly people were not just watching the video, but they were engaging with the video. I have a ton of comments on that video. It's just fascinating how all of this works. So there's kind of a a balancing act as a creator between going just over the top in hysteria and creating this kind of hysterical thing and being honest about what your title is. But ultimately, the silver lining in my mind at least is, yeah, okay, it's a pretty ridiculous title that you're doing, but at the same time, that causes more people to watch your video and hopefully, because it's an educational type of channel, it helps them to learn about something. It helps them to learn about the water rights issue in Berlin and to learn about the fact that the Grünheide, you know, Berlin local council is having issues with Tesla trying to move as quickly as they are. And it's, it's talking, it helps you to speculate a little bit, speculation time, speaking of merch, <laughs> it helps you to speculate a little bit about what could happen if Tesla is delayed long-term or potentially permanently, which really could happen at Berlin. So all of these things are, are, are educational. They're things that are thought provoking. They're things that I think audience, re, audiences really want to know about and should know about if they haven't thought about it before. So all of you out there, but at the same time, if I title it very, very honestly and dully like a research paper, not that many people are going to watch it. So the game of this whole thing is to hype up the title and make it seem crazy and to make the thumbnail a little bit crazy. And then hopefully people will watch it and they will learn something about it. So that's the game you play. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but the thumbnails for people's videos have number one, been getting more like over the top and really colorful and everything. But number two, they've been becoming much, much more the same. And I think a lot of that is that there are now sort of thumbnail programs that generate thumbnails for you. I have resisted this entirely because I want to have my own sort of branding. I want to have my own creative control. But a lot of people are just kind of plugging in some information into a thumbnail creator and it's giving them that really colorful background with sort of a text banner across it, somebody's big face on it, something like that. And those things also sell. People's faces sell copy. Uh, you don't have People Magazine or, or let's say Time Magazine or something, right? So Time Magazine, which People Magazine's about people. So yeah, it's gonna have people on the cover. But if you have Time Magazine, if they do cover after cover after cover of their magazine or their online thing, and they don't put human beings on it, big pictures of people's faces, they're not gonna sell as many copies. People like to see that or they like to see disaster pictures. So I have done things like that before. I did one uh, thumbnail for a video here that I'll put a card for, but it was like the Titanic sinking and it had Volkswagen on the side, right? So a little bit tongue in cheek. Again, I'm still in creative control of this. I'm not using a thumbnail generator in other words, but I was sort of playing on that disaster of the Titanic sinking and how Volkswagen could be in big, it probably is in really, really big trouble. Anyway, so all of this stuff really makes a difference and I know it's disheartening to a lot of you to see me also joining in on this, but it's really worth noting that more people watch my videos when I have these ridiculous titles on them, and yes, I do consider them the ridiculous and it is a game, and please understand that I know that I'm playing a game when I do these titles. But at the same time, the benefit of that, and there's a small financial benefit, these videos never make that much money, but they do make more money and that's nice because it takes time and effort to create these videos. But at the same time, more importantly, it has more people watching these videos. So it's an interesting thing. I do wanna bring up before I finish this video, a little graphic here. And this is kind of a blow up. This is like an hourly view of yesterday's video. And I wanna kind of zoom in on this particular spot. This spot was where I changed the title to a more reasonable title. And you can see that there was kind of a standard tail off of watching the video and then all of a sudden it dropped very sharply. And then 
about an hour and 20 minutes later, I changed it back to a more hysterical type of title and noticed that the video watching went back up again. So I was specifically experimenting at that point with the title of the video. I didn't change anything else with it. And normally what would happen is that would continue to go down and down and down and down and it would be a smooth curve down to essentially nothing eventually. So the fact that it dropped and then came back up again with just the change of the title from a more reasonable title to a you know more hysterical title indicates to me that there's pretty much proof positive that people a lot of people were watching that video specifically because of the title and the disaster promised in the title. So that's the nature of the beast, folks. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Doing thumbnails with fire and explosions and falling stock price tickers and things like that and collapse in the title and destruction in the title. Even when you talk about Tesla in a positive way, I get a lot more videos, or a lot more views when people see a title that says something like Tesla destroys the competition in all caps than I do when I have a title like Tesla is doing really well right now, right? That's Tesla destroys the competition in all caps. Number one is screaming, but number two, it's also much more emotionally engaging and it has a negative connotation. Destroy is a negative connotation. People love that kind of stuff. Tesla is doing well is like, meh, okay, fine. They're doing great. And you're like, you move on, right? You go down to the one below it that's like win all the Bitcoin for free and so you click on that link instead so you have to remember as any YouTube creator I'm a YouTube content creator in this role in my life and I am essentially doing battle with every other YouTube content creator out there because YouTube will pop my thumbnail up but my thumbnail is a list of a whole bunch of things with everybody else's thumbnail and everybody else's title and if I have a boring thumbnail and a boring title people won't watch it I'll be really curious to see how this particular video does I'm going to do a, a little hysterical title but it's also a joke it's going to be watch this exclamation mark exclamation mark and then why people watch hysterical titles right or something like that I'm not exactly sure what the subject title is going to be. But anyway, we'll see. I have a feeling that I will not get nearly as many people watching this video as the one yesterday, but I wanted to explain myself. And this is again, an educational channel and it, every single video doesn't have to be the best video ever in terms of performance. So I hope that those of you who were upset about my video yesterday and perhaps have seen some of my other videos in terms of like, you know, big hysterical titles. And, you know, I think I did one two times ago that was like, ah, you know, things like that. I'll put that card up there too if you want to see that. But 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 hysterical thumbnails, hysterical titles, those kinds of things generate more views and those that really helps everybody out. It helps me to make a little bit more money out of the video, which is nice again. But more importantly, it helps to drive people to watch the videos, to learn something, hopefully to subscribe so that they can come back and watch some more of these videos. So it's a weird, weird situation. <laughs> it's not something that I would prefer to be doing. I would love to be able to title these things in a very calm, reasoned manner, but I've done that before and nobody watches the videos. <laughs> so, so such is life. That's the game that we all have to play. And I guess if you don't wanna be a part of that, then you can specifically reject titles and thumbnails that are over the top. But I have a feeling even if you do want to reject those, you're going to have a hard time doing that because it really does affect us in a psychological manner. And negative emotions are a real big selling point. So anyway, things to think about as you, uh, as you go about your day. So thank you so much for watching and coming along on this ride with me and for kind of thinking about the videos in a meta sense, right? The titles and the thumbnails that I have done recently and how I've been experimenting with all of this. And I hope you appreciate it and, and you know, you can appreciate the fact that I'm trying to walk a tightrope between having people view these videos and being so kind of icky in terms of the titles and the thumbnails that none of us can live with, with myself. So there you go. I hope you enjoy that and please do like this video or dislike it. It doesn't honestly matter if you dislike this video. It has just as much of an effect on YouTube as if you like it. So you should actually know that too. As long as you click one of the thumbs up or thumbs down button, YouTube is happy about that. If you comment about it, they're even happier about that. So that's how YouTube's algorithm works. And again, that generates more views and so forth. So anyway, like or dislike, I don't really particularly care. <laughs> but if you're interested in more of this content and you 
you also want to hear more about these kind of meta issues, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can see more of these episodes because that helps out a ton. As always, and in particular for this video, a huge thank you to my Patreon patrons. You all are amazing. I've had a lot of conversation in the last 12 or 14 hours between when I released the other video and when I'm filming this one. I guess it was closer to 24 hours. Anyway, but I've had a lot of conversation with you all and you've helped me to crystallize some of these ideas and to think about them more clearly and also given me your feedback, even if it's negative, and I appreciate all of that. So thank you all so much. And of course, if you want to join the club, you can definitely click the link in the description. And if you're interested in some awesome merch, check out the link in the description. We've got the Tesla Bot t-shirt, which is super popular these days. Don't mess with Tesla. Lots of other t-shirts, tumblers, mugs, etc. So check out the link in the description and help the channel out. And for those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200 and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Thank you. And finally, don't forget we are both Tesla and Amazon affiliates. If you look in the description, you can see how clicking on a link and going shopping for a solar roof, a power wall, or anything on Amazon helps out the channel. And as always, feel free to ask me questions in the comments or at my email address, which is knows at gmail.com. Till next time, bye-bye.